Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Prodigy Music Man, and I wanna do a quick video on the differences between Mac and PC regarding music production. There's a lot of myths and just straight up misinformation out there regarding this particular topic. My background is I've been a musician since I was in high school. I've been in the music industry for a long time. I also went to college and got a computer science degree. So I think I probably have the credentials to speak well on this aspect from both sides, being a musician and also being a, a highly knowledgeable computer science major. Now, if I'm gonna be honest and we're gonna take money out of the equation and say which platform is actually the best, I'm gonna have to give it to Apple's based Macintosh uh, setup because it's the most consistent, meaning that they're able to optimize it and get the most out of their hardware and it doesn't change that much. The issue with the PC is that there's not like, Microsoft's only PC is the Surface, right? And it's not really like a, a legit powerhouse type of, of a PC like a MacBook Pro is, right? So the thing is, because PCs can have different components in it, historically there have been, um, stability issues with that because there's different drivers because these parts are coming from different places so you don't get a stable consistent platform but the mac has had a stable platform because apple builds the entire thing within this corporation and that's one of the biggest benefits to apple it also allows them to optimize their software to get the most out of their hardware so that's another thing to think about too is if i am already in the apple ecosphere and i have an apple you know, it's gonna cost me more money, but I'm gonna be able to hold this computer for a long time. It's a big upfront cost, they last a long time, and generally people spend more on their Apple products than they would on PC products. If you have a PC and you're trying to use that, you can to get started when it comes to music production, but one of the things you're gonna find is that there's a blessing and there's a curse. Uh, the blessing is that you're gonna be able to get more power for cheaper with a PC, but the curse is that you may have some stability issues depending on what operating system, Windows, for example, you're using. And, and you hope that the actual like platform is really good. Now, they've gotten really good at this over the last few years, Microsoft has, regarding being stable on multiple platforms, multiple hardware platforms. So that's really important to understand when you're talking about um, upgrading or even building your own PC. If you're talking about building a, a laptop, I know there's options out there to piece together a laptop for a PC, but to be honest, you're gonna come across the same issues that you would if you were building a desktop, meaning that this isn't stuff that some manufacturer or, or really that Microsoft has put together itself. Okay, so those are important things to understand when it comes to um, the PC side of things. I will say you're gonna get more bang for your buck when it comes to performance on the PC side, but a lot of times people look at PC and they see it and they, and they kind of go cheap with it and then they get these cheap pieces and you know, then they have major stability problems. I, I think the more you spend on the PC side, the better your stability and ultimately the better your performance. And that's a big thing to understand. On the Apple side, you're already paying a premium and they're not really going, even their lowest performing Mac products are still very competent, they're very good products, right? So you, you gotta understand that if you're buying some like $600 PC laptop or something like that, it's not gonna compare to a MacBook at all. It just ain't. So you can't compare that to like a $2,000 computer. It, it just isn't gonna be comparable at all. Now, if you were to spend say like $2,000 on a Dell XPS, that's a whole different ball game. Dell does a good job of quality, and also those are just really, really, really good PCs. But a lot of times if people spend can spend $2,000 on a Dell, they'll just turn around and spend $2,000 on a MacBook. So that's one of the things It's like, eh. So up to you, it's up to you. If you move around well in Windows, go Windows. If you move around well on a Mac OS, then go Mac. Ultimately, the most important thing to understand is that the computer is just a tool and it needs to get out of your way, okay? Don't let the ecosystem slow you down. Don't let your digital audio workstation slow you down. Hell, don't let the MIDI controller you have slow you down. These are really important things when it comes to being creative because creativity is all about the flow. So if you get in the way of the flow, then you're not gonna really be able to get what you wanna accomplish. And the less you have to think about what buttons to press and how to move things around or how to get this file into here and things like that, the better your whole product's gonna be at the end. That's really the biggest part of being creative on any platform is not letting it get in your way. That's the biggest thing. So in closing, if you were to ask me 
which platform is better, Mac or PC, I would first ask you your budget. And if you said budget wasn't an issue, the next question I would ask you is which software are you planning on running? If you're planning on running something that is actually native on Mac and native on Windows, then you kind of uh, you kind of got your pick. It really comes back to the OS at that point, right? The operating system. But say for example, you're gonna run Pro Tools. Pro Tools runs pretty slow on Windows and it runs pretty slow on Mac, meaning that that's just the way that Pro Tools is constructed. It's not supposed to be fast. It's supposed to be real-time processing using external plugins and stuff like that. That's how Pro Tools is, is built. If you're using something like Fruity Loops, I would say don't even waste your time on a Mac. Get the, the best processing, strongest, um, biggest RAM PC you can get and run Fruity Loops on that. Fruity Loops loves the specs, right? That's a dog that loves specs. If you've already been using Logic and you wanna keep using Logic, then the PC is completely not even an option for you. You don't even get an option for it, okay? Um, something like a Cubase. I, I, I would say if you're gonna run Cubase, you may wanna run it on PC just so you can get the most uh, processing power out of it, but running it on Mac is fine too. Um, just You really have to figure out which DAW is gonna work for you, which one do you want. I know a lot of people run Ableton Live on a Mac and, and they love it. You can also run Ableton Live on PC and have no problems, but if you're like a DJ or something, you may feel like running things on a Mac is just, it gives you easier plug and play. And that, again, that goes back to just the fact that it's all integrated in Apple, and Apple does a really good job of building all of those components together to give you what you want and make it really, really simple when it comes to drivers on their platform. My name is Prodigy Music Man, guys, and if you like what you hear, please click the like button and subscribe. I would love to have a conversation with you. What are you using? Are you using a Mac? Are you using a PC? And tell me why did you decide to go with that? It's always interesting hearing people's stories as to how they ended up on what they ended up on, so please share that in the bottom comments, guys. I look forward to chatting with you guys, and I'll holler at you later. Peace.